Hey everybody, I'm Russo, and I do a little work here and there. It looks like we're finally back in the ready ward, and this time it's because we did something and weren't quite ready. But I believe you can always turn a poor experience into one that, for you, has a little more merit. So, here I have three specimens, two of which you may have seen before if you've been following along. If you don't recognize them, these are Nuka-Cola machines from Fallout. The blue one is the cardstock original, and the one that's painted is a resin copy of that. The one in the middle is our mistake. It is pretty delightfully eaten up, but it ruined the mold, so there's that. And this was a test to see if we could use the original Gorilla Glue to cast a lightweight but detailed replica. Now this isn't entirely by the books, but I got a bit of Gorilla Glue in a container and put some water in it. It's not the best idea, but it makes it foam up pretty good. Unfortunately, it also made it stick to the molds, which, you know, could be because these molds are cheap. Very cheap. And actually, a pure silicone mold might have done better. These molds are for lockers. And while they are mostly silicone, they're also partially starch, and I, know, I figured Gorilla Glue would stick to a potato pretty well. But moving on, take a closer look at this grayscaled version. A bit of grayscale is always the first step for me, and here it nicely highlights the more ruined aspects of the casting. So I would do more work to this grayscale, even though most of it will get covered up later, but since this thing is supposed to be messed up anyway, I think I'm going to leave it about here. This is a pretty good place to stop. One quick wipe away is the first layer of color, and where the nice version has a nice cream color and a nice red on the bottom, we're starting here with much dingier colors. A lot of stuff gets painted in, and I'm not fretting about every little detail because this thing was pretty messed up to start with. After those colors are blocked in, I come in with some light rust. This is just the base coat for the rust, and it's a sort of home-brewed, half-metallic color basically just copper and a similar non-metallic ready brown. But yeah, that just goes in all the rusty parts. It looks a little garish right now, but you know, we're almost done. I suppose you could stop here if you like, and people would probably still think it looked alright. For me though, I think some light washes and dark washes are definitely in order. And this is basically the final look at the thing. I've lightened the top part a bit, fixed quite a bit of detail, and I've made it look just generally beaten up. So yeah, definitely worse for wear. So yeah, there we are, making the best out of a little mishap. Very cool. But now I've got to get back to other projects. So until next time, you've been watching The Ready Ward on Rousseau Works, and I'm Rousseau, out. <laughs>